Yeah, I mean, addressable TV, you know, for years, people have been trying um, to do this. And I can say with confidence that we finally have this at scale. And that's mainly because of the sort of the connected TV environment where it is possible to, you know, place your ad on the big screen, but also make it addressable and, you know, targeted to the individual households, right? And, and measure how the outcome as well. Um, and, you know, for us, what we are seeing in the industry is there's a lot of demand for this right now because the linear TV um, ratings are, are down and it's not able, you know, people are not able to reach all the audiences that they want to reach. Um, so, you know, our tagline is sort of reach the unreachable, right? Because we know precisely using our ACR data, who are the audiences that a particular brand campaign is able to reach on linear TV. And uh, using sort of CTV, we are able to reach everybody uh, that they haven't been able to reach or, you know, complement sort of their linear TV strategy. And for brands working with LG ads is becoming a must buy because, you know, we cover about 20 million households within the United States. And we are also globally helping many of these brands reach almost 120 million households. Um, and there is a stat that says, you know, one in um, two TVs sold worldwide is either a, a Samsung or an LG. So uh, as a result, we've become a must buy in the addressable market. Interesting. Now, you mentioned ACR data, automatic content rec recognition data, which is uh, the data that your smart TVs collect based on what people are watching, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So now, with the consolidation around the data provided by the big OEMs, what does that mean for the market, for advertisers, for brands, uh, for networks, that kind of thing? Yeah, so I think the more recent trend um, has been to sort of uh, make this data available in an exclusive nature and um, and uh, not widely available, right? like it was in the past years where the ACR data was being sold to multiple you know, DSPs and ad tech vendors. Uh, and what that did was it resulted in a lot of confusion about the data and how it is getting used. Um, by kind of, you know, reducing that distribution now and, and making this available exclusively through the OEMs, you know, ad networks, I think it helps the market overall use the data better, right? Uh, again, one of the things that brands are always looking for is sort of efficiency in buy. They would want to work, uh, you know, with a few players and get the massive scale rather than work with multiple vendors and not know whether they're reaching the same audience over and over again or different audiences. So even for doing things like enforcing frequency across linear TV and OTT, if you're working with a few large players who have the scale, you can achieve that. Whereas if you're not doing that, if you're you know, making your buys uh, with individual publishers one by one, or through ad networks who are essentially just buying inventory and, and selling it without any proprietary data or inventory of their own, you don't get the same benefit. And so that's the, you know, the trend, uh, whether it's through you know, uh, Roku or Samsung or LG, uh, that's what the large advertisers and agencies are benefiting from working with them directly. And I think that's the trend that you will continue to see um, you know, increase in the industry. And do you see any new challenges in this environment? Well, I mean, I think that the challenges are always about, you know, uniform measurements, right? How do I know this is working? You know, what is the incremental reach that I get? Um, again, I think I would reiterate my previous point, which is if you are able to buy and measure in a single place, which has the largest scale, then it becomes easier to do that. Whereas if as an agency or an advertiser, you have to stitch this together across multiple partners, then it becomes really, really challenging, right? And, and so that is something that, you know, we constantly are educating the market about. And I think it's, uh, you know, it's really resonating well.